Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, today's topic is Serial Communication for 8051 Microcontroller. Before I have made some videos related to this unit number 1. Actually, this is the last uh, topic of unit number 1. In the video of architecture of 8051, I have explained the memory organization concept including organization of internal memory. So please uh, watch those videos. <coughs> Presently, we are talking about serial communication for microcontroller 8051. As the name indicates, the data bits are serially communicated. It is transmitted as well as received. So it supports, 8051 supports fully duplex serial communication mode. Uh, to perform this operation, three special function registers are used. One is SBUF that is serial buffer register it is used to hold the data second is SCON SCON that is serial control register as the name indicates it is used to control the data communication while transmission as well as reception third is power control register PCON PCON it is used to control the data rates with along with the timer number one from the exam point of view, you can expect the question like this, uh, how the serial uh, interfacing is done in 8051 or how the serial communication takes place in 8051. Apart from this, we can expect the question separately related to any one of these registers. So first we'll discuss serial buffer register. As the name indicates, function of this register is to provide the buffering action. It is basically 8-bit register. It's made two registers. Eh? First register is used for write operation only. That means it, it holds the data transmitted via TXD pin. We have discussed the pin configuration. TXD pin of 8051 is used to transmit the data. So while transmitting the data, ye data serially transmit karna hai. To usko hold karne ke liye ek register use karenge. That is write only register. On the contrary, second register which is used in SBUF is read for read only purpose. It holds the data received via RxD pin. RxD means receiver uh, uh, side ka jo signal hai, wo receive karne ke liye 8051 ka pin use karte hai. That is RxD pin. So after receiving, you need to hold that data. So for that, one register uh, is used and it is only for read purpose. You cannot manipulate the things. Then one of the important points related to the serial buffer register is it performs, it has double buffered register is ka matlab kya hai agar pehle ka data kisi intermediate uh, register mein hai to it can accept or it, it can uh, transmit as well as it can receive the another data that is the special function related to this serial buffer register next part is serial control register uh, that is scon register we have already discussed this register while studying the intra related to uh, serial communication mode now we will discuss what is the meaning of each and every content of this register? It is 8-bit register, LSB is D0, uh, MSB is D7. First two bits, SM0 and SM1. Uh, depending on this combination, different modes are decided, which are sh uh, shown in this table. Just say, look, SM0 or SM1 uh, combination 0, 0, it acts as 8-bit shift register sr means shift register then if combination is 0 1 it is act, it will act as 8 bit uart universal asynchronous receiver transmitter it is one of the standard modes for the serial port communication of 8051 then if combination is 10 it is 9 bit uart for combination 11 it is again 9 bit uart so depending on the uh, contents of sm0 and sm1 uh, different modes of operation of this SCON registers are decided. Then next bit is SM2. I am reading the bit position from MSB to LSB. Next bit position is SM2. It is used for multi-purpose uh, communication. Usually it is uh, operated in mode 2 and mode 3. Ye mode 2, mode 3 we are going to discuss in detail. Then REN stands for receive enable. This is actually an indication whenever the uh, RX and uh, TX, RX means transmitter and uh, RX means receiver, TX means transmitter. So if it is set to 1, it indicates it is enable for transmitter as well as receiver. 
Similarly, if it is zero, it indicates that it is disabled for transmission and receiver uh, receiving operation. Then TB8, these are transmitter 8 bits, RB8, uh, receiver size uh, bit 8. Then TI and RI, these are two important bit positions. We have already discussed while studying the interrupt structure of 8051. Presently, TI and RI, refer the earlier diagram which I have uh, explained you uh, in the earlier video. <clears throat> These two bits are odd, matlab, logically oring karte, and then it is uh, generating an interrupt. The interrupt signal generates indicates whether the data is received or whether the data is transmitted. So this indication is used whenever the data is transmitted or received. The 8051 should be ready for the next data to be transmitted or received. That is the basic function of these two TI and RI bits. So this is TI stands for transmit interrupt bit. It is set by the hardware and uh, it is clear by using the software. Then RI stands for receive in interrupt uh, flag. It is set by hardware and it is cleared by the software. The next is PCO and register that is power control register. Earlier register whatever we discussed those were bit addressable register. This is not bit addressable rather it is a byte addressable register. Uh, as the name indicates, it is performing the power controlling action. Basically, its use hai, uh, to control the baud rates of uh, data communication. So, the D7 bit, that is MSB bit, is most important. It is SMOD bit. I have written the explanation. It is basically used to double the baud rate. Ye bit agar zero or aap usko one ko set karenge, to it will perform. It will basically double the bit rate of transmission. So uh, it is used in timer one mode. Ye important thing hai. Timer one mode be use karna hai. And serial port used can be in mode one or mode two or mode three. Ye serial port ke mode sam log baad mein discuss karne wale. Next three bits. I'm reading the bits from MSB to LSB. Next three bits are uh, reserved. Then GF1 and GF0. These are general purpose flag bits. PD, as the name indicates, if you set this bit, then uh, it will go to the power down mode. It will operate in power down mode. And ideal bar, as the name indicates, if you set this bit, then it will perform the ideal mode bit operation. Next is, Modes of serial communication. देखो एक ही टेबल में मैंने पूरा समरी बना के दिया है. Uh, you you just have to remember this table so you can well attempt the question related to this modes of serial communication. इसमें चार modes हैं mode zero, mode one, mode two, mode three. हम लोगों ने ये discuss किया है कि mode of operation decide कौन से bits से करते हैं. All right. So for mode zero, the format is like this. It is related to eight bit data. अब देखो, it is basically related to a shift register. हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया है, 8051 का जो TXD पिन है, that is used to generate the clock pulses applied to the shift register, whereas RXD pin of 8051 it is uh, connected uh, between uh, 8051 and shift register, let us say. So it is basically used for serial data. Uh, transmission, uh, I mean, for serial data enters or exits. So, this is uh, the function of pin RHD of uh, 8051. Its use application is for port expansion. As such, many times in many applications, it is required to have more uh, ports for 8051. So, port expansion ke liye mode 0 operation use karte. Then, mode 1 operation. It consists of one start bit, SB means start bit, again it requires one stop bit, SB means this, SB means I stop bit, so one start bit, one stop bit and eight data bits are required. So total there are 10 bits, one start bit, one stop bit and eight da data bits. So 10 bits are transmitted uh, using TXD pin or as well as 10 bits can be received using RXD pin. So this is related to mode 1 is me jo baud rate hai that is variable pehle mode 0 mein baud rate fix hai which is 1 by 12 times oscillator frequency osc dot means oscillator frequency next is mode 2 it requires one start bit usually it is 0 then 8 data bits this db is a data bits 
ninth bit is programmed bits programmable a uh, bit so we have discussed this tb8 uh, bit of sun register that is serial control register so it is related to the ninth programmable bit and um, one stop bit so this is the combination of uh, bits related to mode 2 so one start bit one stop bit eight data uh, bits and one programmable bits so there are total 11 bits as far as this mode uh, mode 2 is concerned and the baud rate for mode 2 is 1 by 32 times oscillator frequency mode 3 is same as this combination is similar to the mode 2 sir difference itna hai is my baud rate variable hai so jaise maine bataya ye pura summary maine ek tabular format mein banaya hai so uh, it is uh, very much important as far as this modes of serial communication are concerned so dear students that's it for this session and that's it for unit number 1 of uh, 8051 so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video